Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Don't blame general aviation for what happened at the Capitol. ICAS makes it easier to find your air show. And Hyundai Motor sends a message to space. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm Ashley Hale. In 1922, Lawrence Sperry, flying his diminutive messenger airplane, first buzzed the Capitol building and then landed in front of the main steps. In this case, he was welcomed as the intrepid aviator demonstrated the abilities of his little airplane. And when pilot Jim Ray landed his auto gyro on the White House lawn in 1930 to demonstrate the capabilities of his new and exciting type of aircraft, it was covered by the press and by newsreels as an historic event. Obviously the stunt, pulled by Douglas Hughes of Ruskin, Florida on Wednesday afternoon, landing his small auto gyro on the Capitol building lawn, did not receive the same kind of welcome. It appears his attempt to deliver a message protesting campaign financing is lost in the media hype regarding the lack of security in the sky over Washington. Unfortunately, his choice of a protest vehicle also delivers an incredibly bad impression of those of us who enjoy responsible recreational aviation. His actions paint a picture of disrespect for the rights and privileges we enjoy in general aviation. While the government and press sort out this issue of aviation security over Washington, we in recreational aviation need to get the word out that his actions don't represent all of us. Air shows are exciting and can be a fun place to plan a day trip where one is occurring. Now the International Council of Air Shows, known as ICAS, which is a trade association representing the air show industry, has posted its 2015 air show calendar in a new format. Just enter ICAS into your web search engine to go to the ICAS website and you can access the new calendar features. The calendar is the most complete source for air show information and offers visitors multiple ways to locate a show or their favorite performers, including the US Navy Blue Angels, US Air Force Thunderbirds, and Royal Canadian Air Force Snowbirds military jet teams. Additionally, the world-renowned Breitling jet team will make its first US appearance and will fly in 19 cities this year. Calendar visitors can view several options, including a map of shows or a simple drop-down list and sort by month, state, and performer. Users are also provided links to the individual air show and performers' websites. After the break, a message on Earth is seen from space. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Now certified, Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100, and ATX-100G transceivers are the next-gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, send us an email to news spy at aero news.net. When your dad is aboard the International Space Station, it's kind of difficult to send him a handwritten note, but Hyundai Motor has found an innovative way to do just that. The newly launched campaign, entitled A Message to Space, revolves around a 13-year-old girl from Houston, Texas, whose father is an astronaut and often away on space missions for many months at a time. Hyundai Motor conceived of a way for her to stay in touch with her father 
while he's gone by writing a personal message in giant lettering big enough to be read from space. Using the Del Mar Dry Lake in Nevada as a blank canvas, Hyundai Motor dispatched 11 cars to write an epic message measuring 2.1 square miles. It's reported that Dad got the message. While the company did not identify for which astronaut the message was intended, current Expedition 43 commander Terry Vertz has a teenage daughter named Stephanie. The creation has been officially recognized as the largest tire track image by the Guinness Book of World Records. The business of private industry spaceflight gets another boost as Blue Origin completed the acceptance testing of its BE-3 rocket engine. The first new hydrogen engine to be developed in the United States is more than a decade. The 110,000-pound thrust BE-3 will power Blue Origin's new Shepard suborbital system and later will be modified for upper stage applications. Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin founder, said, quote, The BE-3 has now been fired for more than 30,000 seconds over the course of 450 tests. We test, learn, refine, and then test again to push our engines. The Blue Origin team did an outstanding job exploring the corners of what the BE-3 can do, and soon we'll put it to the ultimate test of flight, end quote. The BE-3 can be continuously throttled between 110,000 and 20,000 pounds of thrust, which is a key capability for vertical takeoff and vertical landing vehicles. After these messages, Boeing may offer the BBJ Combi. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we've summarized some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. <music> Boeing Business Jets is studying the potential for a BBJ Combi. Not to be confused with a fast food order, this is a biz jet with a split configuration of both passengers and cargo at the same time. Four years after launching a partnership with The Ohio State University to establish the Center for Aviation Studies, NetJets has reinforced its investment in aviation's next generation. They've donated an additional $1 million to the program. The Export-Import Bank of the United States has approved a $22.4 million loan guarantee to finance the export of U.S.-made Augusta Westland AW-139 helicopters. The financing will support about 200 jobs at Augusta Westland's Philadelphia facility. Some congressional leaders say that the Pentagon is too cautious in developing unmanned aircraft technology that can provide long-range IRS and more. Senator McCain and others want an unmanned carrier-based system that can fly for days at a time. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's move on to the rest of the news. And now to conclude this Airborne Unlimited week, we finally have the aviation story we've been long waiting for, a flying cucumber. The Hendrix Gen Company, that's gin as in gin and tonic, is launching Hendrix Air. This new ambitious venture will commence with its flagship aircraft, which is a massive dirigible christened the Flying Cucumber. 
Hendrix Air will launch its fleet based on a single dirigible. In contrast to the hub-and-spoke structure of conventional airlines, all Hendrix Air flights will depart and arrive from the same point, which Hendrix National Brand Ambassador Jim Ryan says, quote, emphasizes the excitement of the flying experience itself. We're offering a return to the true glamour of flight, end quote. The 130-foot-long, 40-foot-tall flying cucumber is adorned with a giant eye in the sky, which exudes both whimsy and a dashing sense of purpose. It will launch with a coast-to-coast -coast voyage beginning in April and culminating in August, stopping at 11 cities along the way. Well, that's our program for Friday, April 17th. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.